This is the part two video for my 2007 Mercedes Benz S550 being sold on eBay. We'll do a little video showing the inside of the car, showing all the car's features, not everything works because everything does. Um, then we're done with that, we'll do a fast test drive. Okay. Car's a very clean interior, so you can see the seats and everything in the car are, are perfect, there's no rips or tears inside. Um, the only thing with the car I noticed is that the headrest button popped off here, it's for that, to work the rear headrest. I put a pin in there and moved it up and down so the headrest does move, so it's not a problem with the headrest, just a little cap fell off. You probably buy them in a dealership for ten dollars or fifteen dollars. This is just a little cap. It's not a big deal. In these cars, it's common. Um, that was the only interior floor I noticed. Everything, like I said, does work. You know, there's no issues, and uh, my video will show that. Got the original key for the car, and it does work. Gonna lock the locks, open the locks, pop the trunk, sound the alarm. All those things. Okay. This car also has the push button start uh, present. This just pops out. You can put the key in there or plug this in the ignition and do the push button start. So we do have that. It came with the car. It's a nice feature to have. You just push the brake down, tap this, and the car starts remotely. Okay. There we go. Um, all the cars lights do go out. There's no warning lights on of any type. All the gauges in the car do work. Car revs real nice. It's got 94,252 miles. Blinkers work right and left. Over here's the car's cruise control. We've tried it on the highway. It did work. Over here you have horn here's different buttons for the trip control navigation trip you can scroll up and down in that menu as well and see your range with gas and all those things so the onboard computer is all functioning back button here over here is your volume control you can raise it and lower the, the volume on the radio push it into mute You can put your uh, cell phone up to the Bluetooth and that'll answer, hang up the phone. Right there, activates the phone. Over here you have the power tilt and telescoping stock. Okay, it goes in and it goes out and all those things. Headlights over here and fog lights. Okay. High beams are on. Front fog lights, rear fog lights. Okay. Electronic parking brake over here. Over here is your front headlight washers. Those little things I showed you on the front. They pop open and squirt water onto the lights. Um, I'm sure they work as well. I haven't tried it, but I'm sure they do. I have to go outside the car to look at it, but. Okay. Power seats work. No issue there. Car has the AC cooled seats and they do work. The fans do go on in the seats. Heated seats. And they do go on as well. I've tried them. Memory seats here. Power locks all work. Over here you have the power folding mirrors. Open and close. Power mirrors work. No issue at all. Okay, so mirrors do work the way they should. Same thing with the windows, they work.
Okay, here's a rear window lockout switch or locked out the rear windows for being used from the rear passengers. Trunk closing and opening button, it works. I, I showed that in my other video, the trunk closing and opening power, power wise. Um, here's your screen over here. Let's get out of here and let's go to the Okay, over here you have your vehicle raising, lowering, or lower and raise the vehicle if you're going up into a drive through. Um, there's no problem with the automatic in the car, which raises the suspension. If there was, there would be an error message on the dashboard. So that works. Over here's your ESP. Okay, parking sensors on and off switch. This over here will turn your navigation screen back and forth. And that all works. Here's your brightness. It'll dim and brighten the um, color of the uh, navigation screen. Okay. Push button start, as I mentioned before. Clock works. Over here is your uh, climate control, and it all works as well. Let's just see here. Um, there we go, right there's your climate control. It raises, lowers. Okay. Lower it, raise it. Temperature wise, same thing. And I tried all the settings um, the AC, the heat, it all worked fine. And over here's your residual mode, circulation mode front of froster, all that stuff. As I mentioned, it all works with no problem. Okay. Auto mode, of course it puts it off. So all that works fine. And here you have your six disc in density changer. Down below here is an ashtray. Don't think the car was smoked. I don't see any remains of any ashes in there. Let's put this out of the way. And here, um, dual cup holders. Radio and audio mode. You push that and it'll go to your radio and you could uh, raise the volume over here with this volume control. This over here scrolls through all the car's stations. And it all works. Mute button. Volume lowers and raises. Let's see, here we got it. Let's see. Towing and nav buttons, put that on, the navigation comes on. This is a uh, comfort and standard mode. See the little S down there, it turns from C to S. Um, I think it actually is, it's a uh, comfort and sport mode, what that is. And over here is your rear headrest seat release. If the headrest is up in the back, which is rather than not, if you pull them up, hit that button, they'll go down. So, I mean, it all works. Everything in this car is working. Here's a button for your telephone. You can dial your uh, telephone numbers through this center right here. Armrest. Great condition, not ripped or torn. Put that off. Oh, hazards are over here. And hazards work. I'm really trying to show everything in this car. I have so many gadgets, I don't want anyone to think that nothing doesn't work, so I'll try to go through everything. Dashboard of the car is perfect condition. Club box lights up when you open it. And here is the recent receipt for all the work on the car that was done. Let's see if we can show you the total. 28, uh, I think this phone isn't it's zooming properly. 28.71, so almost $3,000 worth of work. This is done last week actually too. This is all brand new work. Okay. So, there you go. Of course, floor mats are here too. Original mats are all present. Yeah. 
sort of visors when you open them up, the lights come on the way they should. You have a little uh, storage compartment here for your sunglasses. Lights in the mirrors work. Dome lights work. Here's the rear dome lights. These are the front dome lights. And of course the moon roof works as well, of course. Back opens up. Back closes. The overhead roof liner too is a nice shape. There's no cigarette burn holes in it or anything. Matter of fact, back here too you have little opera mirrors. People sitting in the rear. Also have rear shades in these back windows also, which is kind of cool. Maybe it's something you'll never use, but it's a little option, a little gimmicky for my taste, but something that this car had, someone bought the option for that. Um, I think that's it. I think now what we'll do is take it for a test drive. You'll see when I put my belt on too, the little seat belt warning light there does go out. Take it for a little, little drive. Okay, push uh, the stalk up. The car goes right in reverse. The way it's supposed to. Okay, and we push it down. And it'll go and drive the way it should. Come to a stop sign and the car will break the way it should. It's a really great car. If you're looking for a really nice S550, this is the one to get. You know, in my opinion, the best color combination, the black on black. You know, the fact that the owner updated the wheels to the 19 inch AMG wheels, the five star looks fantastic. And you know, 90, 94,000 miles, great miles too for the car. 11 years old, which I have way over 100. So you're buying a car with also great miles and all the features and maintained, deal with service, and just $3,000 spent on it. I don't know what much more you could ask for. Okay, all right, we're gonna park the car now. If you have any questions about the car, if you want to come down and see it in person, feel free to email me or give me a call anytime. My name and phone is on the eBay listing. And I'd be happy to show you the car. Alright, thanks and good luck bidding.